Alright, vibration mode activated. Good afternoon, everybody. Man, that is going wild. <laughs> vibration. <laughs> anyway, it is COVID-19 season. Coronavirus. And that was Anderson Police. And actually, I'm going to turn them down. I don't need to hear them. Anyway, we're just going to... Because everything's on quarantine, so we're just going to kind of cruise around to a few places and check it out, see what the situation's like at each one of them. Uh, we do have to pick up toilet paper, <laughs> some water, and a couple other things at one or two places, but primarily, primarily we're just cruising around just to see what it's like. And hopefully tonight, after like closing hours for stores and stuff, we're going to kind of do the same thing, check places out, to see what's going on around town during this uh, lockdown. Uh, let's head out. Yeah, you see the vibration went away since I started driving. As far as I know, everybody that got tested thought they might have had a coronavirus up here in Redding, California. Tested negative. He tested negative. Just except that for, one guy. For, except for that one guy, he was 50, he was healthy, but he was positive, but he ended up self-containing. He did what he was supposed to do, and he's recovered. Yeah. He recovered from he it. He no longer has that but, virus. Yeah, and there's nobody else up here whatsoever that has it. I mean, there's people sick up here with the allergies and stuff like that. And like me, I got COPD, so... That's a lung disease, but um, I get a little cough every now and then, but it's nothing to be concerned about. But believe me, I'm being very cautious when I'm around where I go and stuff like that. I see somebody sneeze, I run. <laughs> so, yeah. I do have to apologize. We're, I, I'm calling this the media hoopty because, because it's an old car, it's 1986. But it's low. So, so it has rattles. So every time it vibrates, shakes, or something, you're going to hear something. Uh, it hit a bump down the road, the brake pads rattle on it. But as soon as I touch the brake, the rattle and the brake pads just kind of goes away. So we'll see you in the next clip. Okay, we're going into the parking lot of Dollar Tree on Lake Boulevard. And surprisingly, it looks rather empty. So we'll see as soon as we get to pull in. And don't ask me why RPD dispatch is so weak. They just opened that store too, so. Yeah, that's gonna put a hurting one. That's gonna hurt. All right, we're gonna run across the street and see what's going on over here at the old Shotco parking lot. It's also Rayleigh's over here too. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out why that's coming in so weak like that. Being up here on this hill, it should come in loud and clear. Yeah, because there's the antennas, there's the, yeah. It's really cell service should be on five bars. Eventually, we're hoping to get a... Wow, they got this all fenced off over here at Shopco. Somebody might bought it or something. Like yeah, the old 
Shopco's no longer there, neither is the Arby's. So now we no longer have an Arby's in Reading. Maybe Sprouts will put a new place there. I wonder if they put this up to keep the homeless out of here and whatnot. Most likely, because they were over on the side there, camping out and that. Yeah. Laying now. Well, this parking lot, other than the fencing off of Shopco, seems to be... Lab court. Is there any closed? Really? Kind of looks normal. Taco shop is open. Cash in the check is open. Rayleigh's is definitely open, and they're pretty full here. It's like a semi. Looks like a normal day for yeah, Rayleigh's. For Saturday, yeah. Saturdays they actually a little bit busier because that's when people are off work. Yeah, but well I guess not too much more from the do at home, so why not seems, fix things. It does seem even a little busier than a normal Saturday. Kind of spring like weather, maybe that's it. I don't know. Perfect time for gardening too and setting up gardens and stuff this time. There's some empty spaces here so they could use a few more customers. <laughs> well, we'll go over here and check out Mount Shasta Mall. See what's going on over here. From what I can see here, it looks like Macy's is, is totally empty. I, I would kind of think the mall would be shut down because of social distancing. the 
speed bump. Ninja Coalition? I don't know what the hell that is. Kind of done up, looked like a nightclub or something. Yeah, they've got a couple nightclubs in here. <laughs> Possibly. It is, it's definitely cool. Yeah, it says NC nightclub. That might stand for Ninja Coalition. Ah, good one. <laughs> yeah, Sprouts Farmers Market's open. Not as busy as I thought it would be. But... Yeah. We got some peeps out here, but yeah, not as busy. And again, I apologize for the rattle car. <laughs> Getting back to the back to the, I still don't want that thing to be good. I want to get a Ford Crown Victoria, but we want to get one of the old police interceptors. And you can pick them up for around 4000 or less, and I, I see them typically less, like close to around 3000 So look, round table's up. getting ready to do delivery. Yeah, yeah they're open, but the... I think the delivery... The, uh, yeah, their delivery or takeout only. This is like virtually the emptiest I've ever seen this mall. I've never seen since a mall I've been this here. empty. Oh my lord. This is crazy. It almost makes me want to park and feel like I got a good space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the mall's totally shut down the same way. Anyway, uh, yeah, we want to get a Ford Crown Victoria. Everything that's in this car is mounted temporarily. So some of the temporary stuff is even rattling because it's temporary. And as soon as we get that, we can permanently mount everything, have a better uh, set of antennas, actually mounted to a roof of the car instead, magnet mount on the truck lid. Plus, the car will give us more room. Uh, they're actually built for equipment better than this thing is. Because our shifter's in the center console. And our Crown Vic is on the uh, column. Now we're pulling in the Food Max. Anyway, if you want to help us get a Crown Vic, I'll put a link to where you can donate in the description of this video. Even five bucks helps. If you, if you want to see more videos like this, we are viewer supported. Without your donations, we can not keep doing this all the time. Food Max looks a little. A few people in. A little on the light side, but could be just timing too, because sometimes I've come into Food Max and it's very light traffic, sometimes packed. A lot of people are hitting them up first thing in the morning when they open up now, in case they all stocked up or something. But I know a lot of these grocery stores, they, I think they, most of them, or open up a certain hour in the morning for the elderly, the most seniors. high risk. Some are 55 and older, some are 65 and older. And plus pregnant women too, they're including pr pregnant women is a high risk too. And the handicapped. And high risk like me with my COPD, but I don't carry around my paperwork to prove it's a whining bother or keep it at least open for them. The, ones, you know, the movie theaters. Cinemark are closed also. And they got, I seen that a couple days ago. They said they were closing down or something like that. So, no movies. The vitamin shop is closed. You'd think that would be open, right? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to head across the street, cruise through Hobby Lobby and Target, see what's going on over there. And then we'll head over to Walmart from here. Oh, I love me some Hobby Lobby. Open now. Nah, 
Hobby Lobby is closed on Sundays every day. So don't forget that. Yeah, I know, right? It's Saturday though. Hmm? That's why I'm out here because it's Saturday. I'm not coming out here on Sunday. That would be useless to go to Hobby Lobby and I know, see if they're closed. <laughs> <laughs> Closed anyway. So. Man, that guy's car stinks. Exhaust was coming right in my window. <coughs> Looks like Hobby Lobby is closed. Oh, no, not my Hobby Lobby. I and love that store. <laughs> the lobby over there at McDonald's is closed. They're just open to delivery. Take out delivery. Through. Their, their takeout, they will come out and hand it to you in your car. You cannot go into the lobby. Remember, I'm not sure if all McDonald's are participating in it, but there are feeding the children that are out of school now, like free lunches and stuff like that. So check with your local um, McDonald's. I know a few fast food places are doing it. Yeah, Hobby Lobby is closed. They got the nighttime lights on only. Target appears to be open though and doing okay. Beauty by trend, the eyeball, the eyebrow threading. Yep, they're closed. Oh boy. That means my eyebrows are gonna get bushy. God help me. Looks like tobacco and vapes is open. Of course. Sally Beauty Supply is open. Batteries Plus is open. Floor in America is Target open. Target looks like regular business. Because everybody's got to floor their house during a <coughs> virus pandemic. I don't know what's over here. CBS Pharmacy. I didn't know that was there. It's inside oh, that's Target. inside Target. Oh, yeah. Target 398, County 1, Parkland 70 with evidence. Well, that one says space available, so they're closed. They weren't available the other day. Subway is open, but for drive through only, as far as I know. I don't even think they got a drive through. No, nope, they don't, so it's going to be pickup only. They got two expert nails. They got one right there, and then there's one over there. Right? Expert nails. Carl's Jr. open for drive through and take out. Okay, we'll go out the back way here, and we'll head over to Walmart. Oh, uh, yeah, Costco. I forgot about Costco. We're not going to actually go in there, but Winko's Costco like actually left. looks like it's full. Oh, uh, yeah. And then there's Winco to the left, but I can't really see what's going on over there. Damn, that's a big crow. I think the size of our dog. Taco Bell closed. Really? Yeah. Looks like Taco Bell's closed by Winco. <coughs> <coughs> might just appear closed. Our drive through might be open. But yeah, Winco's is open. Winco's is open. It looks like business is normal there. Let's leave the video going because we're right next door to Walmart pretty much. I miss that green light. Time to get up there. Oh, maybe. Oh, no, somebody's got a walk signal, so that kept that green for me. Thank you. The guy in the baseball hat. <laughs> Walmart's is always packed every day here. Let me go to my money. usual spot over here, so I know I got a place to park. Yeah, it looks like a normal day at Walmart's here. Yep. Totally, totally packed. Definitely normal. I wonder if our buddy's working. The eye, the eye place might, might be closed. Yep. Normal spot as usual. The eye place is closed. We, he's going to be Coming to Walmart and get tons of water. All the way down. Come to Walmart where the toilet paper aisle is. Absolutely nothing. And they even got a limit on this stuff. One per... Well, it says purchase one per item. It's supposed to be one per person. Even back there, that second is empty. 
This is the entire cheese section. Well, they got some. All that cheese. That's a lot of cheese, man. People hoarding all the toilet paper won't need toilet paper after they eat all that. And right over there with all the Tylenol acid and everything else of that. Gone. Well, we're stocked up. The only thing we're missing is the toilet paper. Got my Budweiser, uh, some Seagrams, popcorn, chips, coffee, thing of tea down there, I don't know if you can see it, Dr. Pepper, and water in the back seat. Well, we're at Walgreens and it's actually pretty light here. I'm going to go in and see if they got toilet paper because Walmart didn't have any. Well, I guess this answers our question. Sorry about the music in the background. It's copyrighted, so I'm hoping they cut off a cheaper customer, and they've got actually none. Copy. I'll try from the uh, whatever she has right. Leaving Walgreens because, as you've seen, they had nothing in there, and they're limiting it two per person, so not one person can come in and buy the whole shelf out. So that means. They had a pretty good line for that stuff. Unless they bring the whole family in the two per person. Chef, if you can get the call to grab in the phone number she's calling from. So we're on our way home. We still have some. Okay, bye. But we're getting close. We got what, three rolls maybe? Three or four. Hopefully we find at least one pack before we're going. God forbid the zombie apocalypse happens. <laughs> oh, then it's all hands on bar then. <laughs> all what? What do you call it? What's that saying they do? They all hands on. Hate every man for himself. Oh, that is what too, I know. Yeah. But we're on our way home. We showed you kind of like what things are happening around town over this COVID-19 crisis. Not too much change, just some businesses closed, some a little busy, some not so busy. And maybe we'll cruise around tonight and see what happens. Scanner's been really, really quiet. For a Friday night last night, there was hardly nothing going on. And I kind of suspect it to be that way tonight too. I don't know if that's because people are aware the cops are out or not willing to sacrifice their alcohol, willing to gun people down, whatever, but we'll see you later.